What's up everyone, Fellow Wind Attacher here, you know what it is, thank you very much for tuning in. So, I usually don't do this, but as you guys know, I've been releasing videos and live reactions to trailers and cinematics and in-game updates to the video games that I actually play. So, we've got today the Fortnite Creative Developer Update, and this is their 130th update, and I absolutely, they're only like 1 to 2 minute, maybe 3 minutes, that's, that's a pushing it one right there. Three minute max like video of basically the Fortnite developers updating the community with what's going on and what's currently getting updated into the game. And they do these like lots and lots of times. They do at least once a week that I've noticed. They got 130 of them. And um, that's something that a lot of other games are missing. World of Warcraft. Wink, wink. Because uh, that's kind of what's struggling with World of Warcraft is the fact that... Um, they, they they do their developer Q and A's and all that stuff, but it's just go look, go go look at the likes and dislike ratio. It's just not good. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. Um, this is in regards to the uh, inspiration and community creators uh, with uh, creative mode. So uh, let's just go ahead and check this out. Hey everyone, Ash here with our first creative mode dev update. Let's get started. Okay, so I came in in perfect timing. Mean, this is the first one that they've ever done on creative mode. And the intro Those takes like a part of Fortnite's fun. When we introduced the Playground <laughs> LTM back in June, you made it known that this was something pretty awesome. So we wanted to give you more. Our mission is to give you the tools you need to make anything you can imagine. We just started Creative Journey, and we've got a lot of opportunities ahead of us. To us, the community is a partner in the development of Creative. I've seen this one happen. <laughs> That's actually fun. Feedback quickly and shape this new <clears throat> part of Fortnite together. New features may not be perfect and polished at first. I've seen this. This is fun. I know how to do it too, because I've seen it so many times. In the 7.01 update, we introduced the island code sharing system, allowing supportive creator members to display their islands to the world through custom codes. In a little over a month, we saw so many brilliant creators share their islands and mini games with the community. Avalanche, Bounce Pad Arena, Looming Llama, are just a few of these amazing creations we've seen so far. If you want to be Fortnite famous, share your best works with us. For more information on the state of creative, click the link below and check out our dev blog. From everyone here at Epic, thank you for playing creative, and we'll see you next time. Pretty, pretty cool, not gonna lie. Alright, so with that being completed, really don't know what the developer update was for, but it's just basically giving that us the ability to see that they're showcasing that they care about us. Um, developer update on the creative game mode is cool. Um, I absolutely like that video because it wants me... I absolutely love when YouTubers do creative videos, and it's mainly only possible to happen when... You have other people to play it with, which is kind of why I've shied away from doing it. But if you guys want to see me play creative mode gameplay, um, go ahead, post some codes down below in the comment section. I will go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you do not mind me doing these uh, by myself, I will go ahead and do so and make them as fun as possible to watch. Um, Avalanche actually seems pretty cool. Um, I'm, it's, a, it's probably a quick one too. Um, I'll probably see if I can get any of my friends to do it. But other than that, Thank you very much for tuning in, and hey, if you guys want to join me in, add me, Father Winitachi. Peace out, have a wonderful day.